And first tonight at 11, multiple suspects taken down moments right before jewelry heist in Dunwoody. The FBI and local police stopped the suspects just feet from the store's front door. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn is live tonight in Dunwoody. And Cody, this sounds like a movie script here, mm -hmm. but you say it happened right next to Perimeter Mall. Yeah, Jennifer and Jonathan, I honestly couldn't believe it when I heard about it. Now, tonight, while the FBI is being tight-lipped about the group who planned out this attempted heist, the owner explains just how close they got to carrying out their plan. Wednesday, November 29th. The Sandy Springs and Dunwoody detectives came in the store. Telling Jamie Crussell his store was being cased. They had some intel. Jewelry artisans could be hit. There was some heightened security around the area. Then the next day, things escalated. An FBI agent came in to meet with me and to let me know that they're actually planning now to hit me Friday morning. Friday, December 1st. The blessing is I went to my men's you know, Bible study in the morning. Ironically, his first Bible study meeting. And they pray for me and, you know, it, uh, you know, part of the whole thing is knowing God had me. Only his Bible study group and employees knew what was about to happen next. Crussell opened up his store alone, telling his staff the night before to stay home. I came in and set up the showroom like I would normally set up the showroom. Then got a call from the FBI. And said they're on their way. The plan set in motion. And they're going to take them down before they come in my store. As he waited. And having that fear and, and you know, anxiousness about when. And then the moment came. A little bit after 10, just heard two loud booms, um, you know, and, and looked outside and across the street, there was some smoke. Multiple agencies along with SWAT taking down four suspects in the parking lot across from Crussell's store. But they got them. They got the bad guys. I mean, it was, it was just incredible. And Jamie really did want to make it to point to give credit to the FBI, those agents who worked this case, along with the detectives of the Sandy Springs Police and Dunwoody Police Department, who he said not only protected his store here, but kept him and his staff safe. But again, just an unbelievable story. Yeah, incredible, Cody. So I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, like I am, why this store in particular? Yeah, everyone, Jennifer, including Jamie himself. But again, the FBI not giving out any information on the situation regarding this case or, again, who these suspects were. But we do know, again, four of them have been taken into custody. And Jamie did confirm his store was not the only one being cased out across Metro Atlanta. He's just not sure why they picked his store. All right, Cody Alcorn live tonight.